It is review of the Dell XPS 17. The Dell XPS 17 has a thin and lightweight design, which makes it easy to carry around. There are some drawbacks with this laptop, like the high price and lack of legacy ports. Dell's XPS line creates a reliable and capable alternative to the MacBook Pro year after year. The Dell XPS 17 exists for users who need all the screen real estate and power they can get to take care of their productivity workloads, even if portability is as important to them as power. The XPS 17, 2021, is no exception. You won't find a better Windows laptop right now than our review model. This laptop comes with powerful components, like an Intel Core i7, 32GB RAM, and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 graphics card. Plus, it's remarkably thin for a powerhouse of this size. It's the perfect laptop for the creative professional on the go who wants a powerful, yet stylish, PC that won't look out of place in an office. In that regard, its thinness can be kind of a drag, since the port selection isn't quite what you want. Starts at $1,549, £1,649, about $2,110 Australian dollars, for the Dell XPS 17 2021. You'll get an Intel Core i5-11400H, 8GB of RAM, a 512GB SSD and a 17-inch 1200p display with that configuration. As high as $3,749, £3,899, £6,998 gets you an Intel Core i7-11800H, 32GB of RAM, a 4TB SSD, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060, and a 4K touch display. There's a 2TB limit on SSDs in the UK and Australia. That's a big laptop. It will cost $2,949 for the configuration to the right. Even though the 4TB SSD in the maxed out version might be nice, I don't think it's worth the extra $800, especially since the SSD can be upgraded later. Most people should stick with the FHD option from the model we reviewed and trim down the RAM to 16GB. The difference in performance won't matter unless you do a lot of video editing. These two changes make it more competitive with laptops with similar specs at $2,399, about £1,730, £3,270. The 17-inch size of the XPS 17 also gives it a lot more space on the keyboard deck, and it's kind of amazing how Dell made use of it here. Dell puts a standard laptop keyboard in instead of a full keyboard with a numpad, like many laptops in this class. So in this regard, the Dell XPS 17 is very similar to the MacBook Pro, and we love it. There will be folks who want a full keyboard, but the Dell speakers sound awesome. The speakers are clear even when playing bass heavy music, like Kitty's What I Always Wanted. The screen is also simply amazing. The Dell XPS 13 OLED is still better, but this is one of the best laptop displays we've seen. It has an average brightness of 464 nits and covers more than 100% of the sRGB color space. The display is fantastic for media work, but it doesn't meet the 99% DCI-P3 color gamut that makes it a pro-grade display. The Dell XPS 15 keyboard isn't really expanded, but it's still a comfortable and well-spaced keyboard. I like how deep the travel is and how easy it is to use all the keys. There are only two things you won't like, the smaller up and down arrow keys and the limited functionality in Excel and Google Sheets. Dell XPS 17 is surprisingly thin for a 17-inch laptop. The laptop is just 0.77 inches thick and weighs just 2.42 pounds, 2.42 kilograms, which makes it easy to throw into your backpack and take to work, an advantage when you consider how powerful it is. The XPS 17's thinness does have one downside, though, and that's the ports. There are only four Thunderbolt 4 ports, an audio jack, and a SD card slot on the laptop because it's too thick for anything else. The first time is a bit of a pain, but you'll get it eventually. The Dell XPS 17 will support 64GB of RAM once you're in there, and you can upgrade your RAM and system storage easily. It shouldn't be that surprising that Dell XPS 17 eats through most workloads since it's powered by a 11th generation Intel Core CPU and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 graphics card. In Metro Exodus at 1080p with everything at Ultra, it averages around 52 FPS. You can get a solid 60 FPS experience at 1080p with a few settings lowered. XPS 17 isn't really designed for that. The laptop shines more when it's doing creative tasks, where the 4K display can really do its thing. This laptop saves you time in Adobe Premiere, Photoshop, and Blender and that's partly thanks to the CUDA cores in the RTX 3060. If you combine the powerful discrete graphics, RAM, and high wattage H-series processor, it's a laptop that's perfect for editing videos in 4K on the road. This laptop lasted over 7 hours on the PC Mark 10 battery life test, which simulates real-life applications. It's not bad, 
But these days you can get through a full workday on a single charge on most laptops. But we don't really care about that. Dell's XPS 17 won't die in a couple hours, and most people are going to be using it while plugged into a wall working anyway. In spite of everyone working from home more and more and using their laptops for video meetings, the Dell XPS 17 only has a 720p webcam. If you're in a well-lit room, you'll get plenty of detail out of the camera. It does its job, but if you're going to use this laptop with a monitor anyway, you might want to invest in a webcam. Thankfully, the built-in microphone works great. The Dell XPS 17 lets us hear ourselves clearly, and we didn't need a separate microphone in any of our many meetings. Dell's come loaded with lots of software. 99% of this stuff won't get in your way, and you'll only need it if your phone needs an update or connection. It's also got McAfee, which we had to uninstall because it kept asking us to buy a subscription. Dell XPS 17 also has Windows Hello through the webcam and a fingerprint scanner so you can use whatever biometric login you're most comfortable with. In our experience, both are super fast to unlock, and the fingerprint scanner is also the on-slash-off button, so you don't have to move your hand much.